Abo. What a beautiful sight, man. What a beautiful sight. This time next week, we may really be looking at trick or treat time here in Antigua or Barbuda. Will you allow them to trick you again? When they told you that they're not going to the IMF, trick or treat, trick again. When they told you that we were both going riding in a luxury compartment, trick again. When they told you they had hundreds of investors coming in, where are the investors? Where are they? Trick again. When they told you no more taxes, trick again, no treat. When they tell you free internet and free laptops coming, that is the treat for the election. And then when they're done with you, then the trick going come. Comrades and friends, they said they're spending millions to win the by-elections. That is going to be another treat. But when they're done, tricking your tail again. <clears throat> Don't worry. They're the ones that told us. What they tell us? Eat them out. Drink them out. What are you going to do? Let me hear you again. What are you going to do to them? Brothers and sisters, we are going to open Mount St. John. No matter what they say, no matter how much they try to say they did it, we are going to make it open and make sure that we look after the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Now, as recently as this afternoon, we were meeting with the Prime Minister, going through all the details because we want to do it right. We want to make sure that when you arrive at Mount St. John, that you're very well taken care of. You know, brothers and sisters, there's so many things up there that we can do. And we're going to provide this service to you for free. How much? Let them hear it loud and clear. Oh, you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to pay. It is going to be free. That is what the Prime Minister said. And that is what we are going to deliver. So when you reach the door, you clap your hand and you say, I'm ready. Ready? 